Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Recon of Games. Um, I'm here. It's been a little while, I know. Um, I, a few games come out, particularly Smash, that I'm playing now. Um, I'm going to do a series of videos, I guess. It's going to be kind of impersonation, uh, not impersonation, impressions on certain characters, my feel for them. And I guess uh, also a good challenge is for me would be, uh, I'm just going to, uh, what am I thinking of? Uh, do certain uh, I can't think of it anymore um <laughs> it's going to be uh, me against the level 9 and every time I win it's gonna go up higher and higher and higher uh, it's gonna be random every time so I don't know who it's gonna be uh, first introductory thing before I get on to it uh, I gotta go back and check um I play with all items off because screw that I have learned especially since the game came out a couple of a few days ago that actually a few yeah when it comes out it'll be a few days but when I, what I learned is that in this game particularly anytime an item comes out a computer will do its best to hit you and run for that item and it's gotten pretty annoying for me because I'm someone who doesn't like to touch items at all if I'm gonna fight you I'm going to push you as hard as I can with that character and not with whatever the game randomly throws in the middle of the map. So, without further ado, uh, level 9 number 1. Here we go. Um, honestly, if I've taken a liking to the Omega stages, uh, just for the sake of everything, I'm probably going to do Final D. Um, one thing I did find out that I liked about Lil Mac is I do like the versatility. I'm, I'm used to playing with Ganondorf, so my versatility is, comes from being rather, you know, uh, can't think of the word, uh, comes from being pretty slow. A heavy hitter and everything, but not exactly my cup of tea has ever been a fast character, so I guess from this game's perspective, I guess, not perspective, but uh, from its, just from everything that's been shown off since its beginning, I've actually come to really like a faster character. Um, shit. He's still up. He's still up. He's he's my number two. Shit. Um, as for certain other things, uh, I again coming from a person who uses a different character, I don't really like how his recovery when he's off the map is almost nothing. Oh uh, god, I got a guy. I kind of wish it was more, but I'm kind of... He is a heavy hitter for someone as fast as him, so I can kind of understand why they didn't want to... Oh, sh wow, that was that was nice. Um, I really understand why they didn't want him to have too much... I uh, can't think of what I wanted to say. Um, A little too much leeway when it comes to recovery. Oh god! Yeah, that's it. Um, wow, I'm actually going to lose this. Probably. Especially if I can't get close. Um, I'm not used to many of the characters the computer uses yet. Uh, honestly, uh, back to one of my qualms about uh, computers and items, I've learned this only, I don't know if it's meant to be, you know, why I run into that. I don't know if it was meant to be from just to make uh, the classic mode difficult, but my problem with it was always that I'd get in, anyone who played the game knows that classic is, uh, relatively difficult if you put on the hardest difficulty um, it comes from both uh, shit it comes both from ah, I really want to hit him with that uh, it both comes from it plays uh, more often than not you're not gonna have a one-on-one -on -one fight it's usually either gonna be four three other enemies or six others which sucks if that's what you want if you want to uh, you, if you thought it was gonna be like it used to be and every so often you have a chance to fuck, you'd have a chance to fight you know one-on-one -on -one. but I've noticed in each of the rounds you may get one of those options maybe not uh, I don't think I'm gonna do one of those runs where it, it shows that mostly because I'm just not a fan of it. Uh, the last boss, generally, uh, pretty good. 
Oh, I, I beat him when I did co-op uh, after I got the game with a friend, but by itself, that boss is actually pretty punishing for a lot of things. And one of those reasons may be because it's just it's so many forms at once. You've got Mashed Hand and Crazy Hand, which used to be a gimmick on how to get it. I remember in Melee, you had to beat on hard, you couldn't die. You had to do certain, you had to be a certain percentage, and I lost. Fuck. Um. But anyway, I'm gonna continue saying what I'm saying because that's my loss. But I don't know if this is gonna be a compilation or not of me trying to win. Uh, rematch will not be with Robin again. I said it was gonna be uh, random. But uh, the thing that's messed up now, I don't think I want to say messed up, but it makes it a serious challenge. Is it's uh, I can't think of what I was gonna say. Um, it's. That it just it's continuous. It's you go from mash hand and crazy hand to uh, what's inside, which turns to be a shadowy figure. Oh, I got somebody fast. Yay. Um, some shadowy figure which has its uh, challenges, and then from there, if you beat him, he turns into a dog, and then from there, he turns into the swords, and then from there, he turns into the uh, whatchamacallit. Um, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, it's just a shadow version of you, which is cool. I like the idea that you have to hit them till they die because there's no health bar or percentage marker. And then from there, it goes to Master Core, and you just have to deal out the damage as so. But in all seriousness, there's not really much else. Like, it, I, I say there's not really much else, but I mean, the classic is short, but it's difficult as hell. Uh, one of its gimmicks that it uses that makes me a little, that makes it just a little unsettling to me is its decision to, uh, I guess take pity on you. There's no more keep trying, uh, until you get better. It's just, if you lose, it cuts you off. It drops the difficulty, and to me, honestly, as someone who's come from playing games on harder difficulties for the challenge, I kind of see it as an insult that you drop the difficulty because I didn't do it perfect. Which I mean is, is one of those you know reasons to get better but at the same time it really dissuades you from wanting to play because you would have to start all over for a mistake. Just because the game decided well you need to uh, not necessarily practice some more but not suck. Come on kill him. Yes. Okay. So um which it leads that kill leads me to a good thing to talk about I guess is uh Lamax KO punch um I've learned just from testing out against computers that it's not exactly easy I mean not not easy I died um not not easy easy not what I mean what I mean more is that it's harder to uh I can't think of what I'm thinking of uh it's a little bit harder to kill than you think um, he does have a bit of invincibility if you get close to hitting him with hit, hitting somebody with it. But other than that, there's not really much you can deal with. Uh, if it's if it's not in a one hit KO, but there's a considerable amount of uh, damage that it requires for it to just knock someone completely off. Uh, if they have zero, I think the base damage is somewhere in the 20% range. I think closer to like 27. Which isn't bad, really, but the problem I think that lies is it's uh, is if you want to get a leg up on somebody, it's gonna take a good bit, especially against computers. Um, I do realize now that speed against speed is really oh, that would have been fantastic. Um, speed against speed is actually a really Fair setup, no matter who it is. Uh, from what I'm, from the fight against Robin, I guess I can understand that uh, the biggest weakness that, uh, oh god, that uh, speed characters have, their problem is, uh, isn't that aren't the heavies, which I would, which you would usually think would be the case. It's more the mids because they have the speed to keep up in most areas and depending on the character the damage is uh, just, just just on par so 
Honestly, uh, I think with mids, if you're using a character like Lil Mac, you have to just be a little more careful. Um, you want to push as hard as you can, like how I tried to do in that fight. Uh, it'll make there's a lot of things you can get punished for, but other than that, if you can get in and get under somebody's, somebody's skin, push them as hard as you can, you should be good. Um, that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, in the next one, we're going to try out against two. So, team battle and me getting my ass kicked more often. So, see you then.